Hey guys, Blige Rober from BlijeRober.com. Today's quick Photoshop tutorial or tip is all to do with character styles. Now, character styles is a new palette that's come out in Photoshop CS6. So if you're rocking Photoshop CS6, this little palette or toolbar is really going to save you some time. So to get it up and running, I go to Window and it sits here, character styles. And just attach it to one of your favorite docs here. Basically what character styles is, is if you were, or if you are a designer and you're familiar with InDesign, you'll notice that character styles and paragraph styles are something very commonly used in InDesign, for, uh, which is a print design program. Character styles will save a bucket load of time, especially for your web designs, because you can define uh, styles for your typography and then save them here and name them whatever you want. I'm just clicked on this layer here, and we'll call this body copy, and I can just um, click on any of these styles, predefined styles, and they get that look and feel that I've predefined. So if I just put that back to normal, let me show you how a new one works. Within my design, if I want to add, let's say I wanted to add another column of text under here, I would just add a new layer. I want to just put another heading here and we'll call this new heading to go here h2 so your developer knows what heading tag to use now currently it's just typical body copy text if I wanted to do this manually, I'd have to select it come up to my character styles give it the same color give it all the properties I would do throughout the design 30 40 times this way I've already pre define these styles and all I have to do is I want this to be a heading 2 and it, it um, inherits all the styles I've put in here. Let me show you how this works again if I create some more body copy I'll just put this here and say this is some simple body copy instead of selecting it and defining it again I can just say it's paragraph styles and it's simple as that if I wanted to add a new one, I could duplicate an existing one if I wanted, for example, just to change a little bit. So I'll right click on the last style, well, up here, sorry, and go duplicate style. That will start from the position at where you're with H2. But for this example, I'll just go create a new one. And we'll call this one. Uh, heading 3 for example, heading 3 styles, uh, assign a font family, so what font do you want to use, let's go next for white, a size, we'll go 14 on this one, give some properties, 0, kerning, and we'll go, just for the example, we'll go dark blue, hit OK, so there's my heading 3. So you can see it's already applied the style to the layer I've selected. If I go back and I can change it, and I'll just create a new layer and go, this is what a heading 3 style looks like. I can just select heading 3 styles and it looks like that. If you want to go at any time and change the heading 2 styles, you can see here heading 2 styles are getting used once here and once here. Now if you weren't using character styles you'd have to manually go and change these but because they're all defined by this one style all you have to do is come in here change it once and it'll update everything. If I go to red bang. So character styles can't stress how much time they're gonna save you once you set them up. Get in there use them as often as you can. The beautiful thing is these character styles are unique to every document so if you went and opened a new document you'd get new character styles notice it's blank so these character styles are always with your photoshop document that you're working on guys i hope you've enjoyed this one it's really going to save you some time stay tuned for the next one thanks